Yes. Let's then look at the Timberwolves projected depth chart. They do have some notable additions in Patrick Beverly, Torian Prince, who will likely start at the small forward position. Uh, Pat's going to back up D'Angelo, but do you think, Channing, that his defensive prowess could perhaps fix the Wolves' woes on that end of the floor? No. <laughs> no, one love, person. I need Patrick to not Beverly is going to bring ask you yes or no questions. Because <laughs> Patrick just, Beverly is going to bring <laughs> intensity. He's going to bring, bring preparedness. Yeah. And, and so that's, again, that's an amazing trait that he has. But one person can't fix the whole defensive right. woes. The team, again, these are the questions that we have about the Minnesota Timberwolves. As a team, are they going to be, you know, take pride in the defensive end? As a team, if Carlton Towns shoots five shots in a row and makes four of them, are, is the team going to run back on defense? So those are things that, wow, like, th that's bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Right? You, you fish the very the bottom. bottom. <laughs> it's every defensive category. Yeah, so you know what? It could always get worse. They could always be last, last. Yes. But it, 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 I, I have hope that they're not this bad next year or this year. Um, and hopefully that they take a little bit of pride because this is kind of gross numbers. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about a couple of those other guys we saw on the depth chart. Right. Malik Beasley has said that his emphasis has been on his decision making, on his ball handling. Uh, what do you expect from him? Well, I think, to be honest, I think everyone's up in the air right now. I think they're going to just throw everyone out there and see what fits. Yeah. I think you've got to – he has to just be opportunistic. Anthony Edwards is special. D'Angelo Russell can get a bucket. And Carl Anthony Towns is, well, I think, their leader. So, for me, where does he fit in? Is he going to be a 3 and D guy? Is he going to go downhill? Is he going to get into the free, get to the free throw line? Um, or does he need plays ran for him? And that's really what I'm – you know, they need a 3 and D guy. Most great teams – have a guy that's comfortable being in a corner, but also defending your best player. Who is that guy on this team? Um, and, and just know that you may not get 15 shots. You may get 7 to 10, so be more efficient with those. Jaden McDaniels, we know he's talented individually. Right. Can he be a relied-upon contributor for this team? No. And, and I'm not saying no as he can't do it, but I'm saying no, they're not going to rely on Jaden McDaniels to win your games. He may win you one game uh, every two weeks just based on talent. He's just going to learn, right? Everyone else, you know, with this new team and guys coming back from injury, there are so many other people that are more important to this team. He's going to have an opportunity to go out there and play, make his mistakes. I think he's, again, they're talented, but what can they do consistently? What are you going to give me every single night? We don't know yet. And so they, if you're a, a bad team, you got, got you just need somebody, just give me six points a night, and then we'll fill in the rest from there. Give me six points, energy, communication, passion, and we're good to go.